Hey, it's Mark Macudis here and on this video you get to see the Umbrella Sky Project in Feira da Ladra in Portugal. We started the day off in Feira da Ladra, which is one of the most famous open-air flea markets in Lisbon, Portugal, where you'll find a plethora of items for sale such as cork. Portugal, by the way, is the number one cork-producing country in the world, producing about 50% or 100,000 tons of cork every year, which is why you'll find products like these all over the country. While walking around Feira da Ladra, we found this vendor who sells these beautifully painted handmade ceramics, featuring the unofficial symbol of Portugal the Galo de Barcelos or the Barcelos Rooster. It's an awesome souvenir. Azulejos transition. Then we hopped on a train for a quick stop in the artful city of Aveiro, where we found this cow, and another cow, and this portrait of a dude. Hand chiseled away by famous street artist Vils, whose artwork you'll find all over Portugal. And this artwork, which reminds me of Banksy. And this stencil work, which has an interesting head. Speaking of interesting heads, here's another. One of 14 sculptures installed in the city by artist Luis K. Madela. And here's some classic Azulejo tiles on the facade of the old Aveiro train station that is currently fenced off. From Aveiro station, we rode on this heavily graffitied local train for about 30 minutes all the way to Agueda station where the Umbrella Sky project was waiting for us. We were greeted with beautiful, you guessed it, um, uh, balloons? Wow, hey everybody, it's really dark, but uh, I'll fix it in post. Uh, so we're here today in... Ooh, that's scary. See, people are coming. So, here at Agueda in Portugal. It's about three and a half hours away by train from Lisbon. It's a very quiet town, especially in the weekdays, like right now. It's pretty quiet, like, it's nobody. Let me see. There are balloons up there. Cool, huh? So they started this art festival here in 2006, I believe. They've been doing it ever since, every year in the summer. And one of the things that really made it popular is the Umbrella Sky Project. Uh, I saw this in Redlands in California. I saw this also, someone posted it in Nagoya in Japan. Uh, so it seems like it's spreading all over the world. They put umbrellas to make it a cooler shade on that street. So we're heading to that street right now. Also, watch out for people asking if they could take the keys out because their nails are too damn long. I mean, come on, come on. Hello everybody, Marco de Sio. We're right here in Umbrella Sky Project. It's really close from Agueda. Agueda Station, there we go. It's only about eight minute walk. Really close from the uh, balloons that you saw earlier. And as you can see, it's right here on this street. There's even this green felt that's like laid down across. Uh, I'm gonna try to adjust the ISO so you guys see it. There you go. Right, really cool. Right, that's super cool. There's a lot of them. Um, mm. But, anyways, um, if you guys are gonna check this out and you were staying in Lisbon, it's pretty far. It's about like a four hour ride. It's better if you take the train early in the morning, um, check the train times, and also if you are staying in Porto, it's closer, it's about an hour and a half. I don't know what else to do here. It's pretty quiet, I like it. Not as many tourists as I was expecting, which is cool. And lots of art all over the place like these. These bright and playful installations were all designed by creative marketing agency Sesta Feira Produções. Among their work is the globally recognizable Umbrella Sky project which was first installed in 2012 for the Agitageda Art Festival. It's only installed during the summer so if you're ever in Portugal during that time I highly suggest that you check it out. 
And here's an obligatory drone shot to end the video. Thank you guys for watching. There's more information in the description box below, so check it out when you get the chance. See you guys on the next one.